Today's recipe is kind of like a winter special. Um, it's a mixed vegetable uh, sabji and it is beautiful. It, why it's a winter vegetable, winter special is because um, in India growing up, uh, carrots are a winter vegetable and cauliflower as well. And then um, you kind of make this sabji, which is uh, using up all the winter vegetables you have. So you can use something else that you might have available wherever you are in the world um, and use that to make this sabji. But it's a really simple one. And really, it's got the right balance of spices, which is very warming and comforting. So let's get cooking. Going to start with a nice large onion and I'm gonna roughly chop this. Just a two to three tablespoon of sunflower oil to start with and a teaspoon of cumin seeds. I had some curry leaves saved in the freezer so I'm gonna add those. They've gone slightly darker in color. That should be absolutely fine. The onion. Just gonna cook this for around eight minutes, 10 minutes until golden. And while the onions are cooking, I'm just gonna um, grate two garlic cloves. In goes the garlic. Just cook it off for a couple of minutes. Onions are looking lovely and golden. And I'm just gonna chop up two tomatoes. In goes the tomatoes. Also going to add 100 ml of water and then cover and cook this for a good 15 minutes on medium heat and I'm going to come back to this. Just going to peel and chop up a couple of carrots. Just going to chop them into circles. And I've also got one large potato. Of course, you can use two small ones or medium ones. Just going to peel. Um, like I've mentioned before, I love using the red potatoes. I think they're a perfect all-rounder and they go really well in Indian cooking. So I'm just chopping them up into kind of cubes, kind of similar size to the carrots because you want everything to cook at the same time. I'm also just going to chop up just a handful of uh, green fine beans. It's time to check on the tomatoes. Looks fantastic. So it's completely softened up. It's become like mushy and it's time to add some really nice warming spices. A teaspoon of garam masala, a teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder, a teaspoon of chili powder, I'm using slightly less, a teaspoon of salt, a good teaspoon of amchur powder or mango powder. And the last one is a teaspoon of ground cumin. Now I'm going to mix it up nicely and then add in the chopped up vegetables. So I've got carrots, potato and beans. First I'm going to mix this and then let this leave this aside and let it cook and I'm going to add some more vegetables to this. So I've got a kind of smallish cauliflower. I'm not going to add all of it. I'm just going to add half of the cauliflower. Just going to break some of the florets. And I think that should be enough for sabji. I'm just going to add everything. So just going to add the leaves, whatever was on the cauliflower and then chop it into slightly kind of smaller pieces. Stem. So I'll just chop it up to smaller pieces so it cooks quickly. And also these um, leaves. So in goes the cauliflower. 
good mix. Now, 50 ml this time, not 100, just a 50 ml of water to kind of get this going. And the last thing is 150 frozen peas. If you find fresh peas, then of course you can use fresh peas. Um, right now it's not the season and also I prefer using frozen peas in cooking. So that's really nice. I've got that water. You do not need any more liquid because the cauliflower is going to release some moisture which will help cook this uh, mixed wedge. So I am going to now cover this and cook it on low to medium heat for a good 20-25 minutes. So my timer has just gone off for 20 minutes. It does look quite amazing, I have to say. Just a gentle stir to check whether it's cooked. If not, we're gonna cover and let it cook for a bit longer. By just looking at it, it looks like it needs another five minutes. But the best way to check is if you just take a piece of potato, try and cut it in half. It's a bit, still a bit hard, not easily cut. And I think the cauliflower needs a little bit longer as well. So I'm gonna give it another five to seven minutes. And I'm also just preparing a very quick salad to go with the sabji. So just some red onions and some cucumber, just chopped up, mixed together. Some lime or lemon juice, whatever you have at home. A good, good squeeze. A tiniest drop of olive oil. Good um, sprinkle of salt and pepper. Mix. And this will give it enough time to kind of sit in the lemon juice, a lime juice, while the sabji and parathas are getting ready. Um, and uh, while the mixed veg is cooking, I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to make a really quick salad, which we have if you are making Indian meal, then that is something that kind of always creeps up because it just goes so well with the food. And the second thing I'm going to prepare is bundi raita. So any form of raita, cucumber, bundi, onion, um, or any other raita. There are a couple of raita recipes on the channel. You can find them. Bundi is gram flour balls, just here. So they are just uh, gram flour balls. And um, yeah, so they are gram flour, which are made into a batter and deep fried. And you can buy them in any supermarket. So really easy uh, to find but if not you can make any other raita of your choice so for the raita it's literally yogurt and a little bit of water um, and to this i will add some salt and really important is uh, cumin ground cumin so you can dry roast the ground cumin and then just um, kind of grind it to a powder and that is really quite important and it goes beautifully with yogurt and goes in the bundi so it's gonna add a little bit of bundi to this that should be enough and if you leave it for 10-15 minutes the bundi will soak up all the yogurt another five seven minutes and this time as soon as i've opened it i can tell by the look on of potatoes that this is definitely done oh, delicious but I'm still gonna check because uh, you don't want to sit down to eat and then it's perfect perfect cauliflower looks done too I'm just gonna finish it with some coriander and just finishing it with good sprinkling of coriander leaves because you've got to, really have got to.
I would highly recommend you have this with um, lacha paratha or naan, some form of bread, because that will do this justice. I've also got, like I said, um, some salad, a little bit of raita. I love this with the parathas in the winters. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Oh, that's lovely. Oh. That is proper lovely. <laughs> oh, um, that's so good. That is fantastic. Like I said, you can add some other winter vegetables if you want. But this is the combination I would recommend. And I hope you will give this a go. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you very soon with another new recipe. Bye for now. Mm. Just the spices. Mm. Beautiful.